everybody, it's Mama J. Inspector. We are here with a few different things. <laughs> These were a pickup. Um, I think box lunch. I got Rob Zombie, which I was waiting for that one. Awesome, awesome pop. This pop is really awesome if you really look at it. And I love the box art on the back. Um, I met Rob Zombie. I don't even know how long ago. I know it was when Alice Cooper got his star um, in Hollywood. He was there with Alice because they are friends. That's cool. And also we have Chester Cheeto at Icon. Really cool pop. That is a really cool pop. So we got those two. Um, and then this one, sorry, is from the Funko shop. So why don't you show them what you got there while I open this? Let's open this. Uh, I got a new wallet, My Hero Academia wallet of All Might. Costume. I just needed a new wallet and I saw this when we were looking. It's just standard. I got that wallet for under five dollars. <laughs> yeah. So you can't complain. No, it's really cool. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is what I got. Okay, so then I got this one. Uh -oh. Take it out of the box. The Tootsie Pop Owl. It's really cool. I know the running joke is they're going to make all kinds of exclusives and change the color of the Tootsie Pop and all of them. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, because I think the mystery mini one has a, I think a red Tootsie Pop. I'm not 100% sure. But he has a yellow and then they were talking about possibly other ones. It's a lot of Tootsie Pops. Okay, and then these two are mystery boxes that um, were ordered. They're from different places, so we're just going to open them. This isn't really a challenge, so which one would you like? Uh, I'll grab this one. Okay. And um, this one is from Big Text Pops. And that one is from Spastic, Spastic Collectibles. And Still says Pops. Uh, it says pops on the label. Well, we've had that box for a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, let me open this one. Let's see what we got. Alright, so in this one... Oh, I got a sorter. I didn't get a sorter. Oh. I got Uncle Fester. <laughs> With the light bulb. With the light bulb. Again, they were talking about this one should be like a glow-in-the-dark... Um, but it's a Walgreens exclusive. Um, it's a cool pop. I don't know. We'll check the value on it in a minute. But um, it is a cool pop. It's just not something we will collect. Yeah. So even though I kind of want Cousin It. <laughs> Cousin It looks really cool. But I haven't even seen a Cousin It pop. So um, I'm going to assume it's out. But it's cool. What'd you get? I got it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Dead Yamcha. Really cool pop. Wow, that is um, a cool pop. We don't have that one, right? No. Uh, this one's really funny because this is when Yamcha died in a crater. And it's been a running joke. Huh, that's funny. So let's check the value on those two pops just to see if we got our money's worth. <laughs> okay, we looked up some value. It's kind of funny because every time we decide not to do a challenge, if we would have, I would have won. Um, Uncle Fester is worth $16. And Young Chow's worth $13. So, I mean, technically, I got pretty close to what I paid for those two mystery boxes. Um, and that will definitely go in our collection, so that's yeah. a plus. This one won't, but that one will. Even though there was a dead Young Chow pop. <laughs> Well, he fits in with some of the other ones I think you got there. Right? I think I have one of those. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got the value on those. So those are cool. 
We also got a mystery box that I ordered, but unfortunately, the post office wasn't very nice. So can you move those over a little, please? Um, so as you can see, the post office wasn't very nice, so we did open the box. Um, came with two pops. And you can clearly see the post office was not our friend. This one, I think, had some damage on it, too. Right there, you can see um, that the, the boxes were damaged. So when I opened this one, yeah, this pop is done. Um, it is totally destroyed. It was Vampire Jack. Um, I do have this pop already, but this one, yeah, is... Unless you're an out-of-box collector, which we are not, this box, I mean, literally, look at that. It's totally destroyed. So, and that box had a little bit of minor box damage, not as bad. Yeah, it's kind of like right here on this one side. Not too, too bad, but a little bit, but it's the flock stitch without the flock sticker. Without the flock sticker, we did look at that. Um... So, you know, obviously we're not going to do a challenge because these boxes were destroyed. But I do want to say that the person I ordered these boxes from was extremely helpful. I did not ask for them to do anything. I just gave them a heads up on how my box arrived. And they did give me a refund on this pop. And um, that's Pops KO. And like I said, I would order from them again in a heartbeat because... I think he went above and beyond what he needed to do. So I was very pleased with that. Um, we don't really collect stitches. And like I said, the box does to get damaged also. Just not quite as bad, but it has damage here. And it has damage, where would you say, on the back on right the back here? Because it was crushed. And this one took most of the brunt of the being crushed. And that one kind of got the leftovers of it. So, um, but again, if it was a retail store, I'm going to tell you customer service was outstanding. <laughs> so we just thought we'd show you that because, you know, the post office just doesn't seem to care. And like I said, these boxes clearly show the damage from the post office. So, all right. Other than that, um, that's it for this video, guys. We will see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell.